If you haven't had that thought, you might not truly like making me. Have you ever been walking through the grocery store, saw something on the shelf and asked yourself, can I make that into a mead? Well, today I did that. I did that with a carrot, turmeric, and ginger juice. Let's get started. So like I said, I was walking through Walmart and uh, I noticed in the juice aisle, a carrot, turmeric, and ginger juice uh, cocktail of sorts, essentially. And uh, I, I was interested. I immediately said, what can I do with this? Now, this is kind of like a micro brew in that it is smaller. I didn't want to scale up and do a, a whole gallon batch of this in case it was crap, but I do want to share my results of a smaller batch of it because I think it's interesting. So I bought that juice. Um, I started to formulate a recipe, which is right here on the screen as well. Essentially it was, um, how much juice was it in total? So in total I had, uh, I did not use all of the juice. I used probably about 20 to 24 ounces of this juice, which fun fact, it says here on the website, it says it is not from concentrate, it's organic, kosher, gluten-free, allergen-free, non-GMO, all those things. Um, it is organic carrot juice, organic lemon juice, organic ginger, organic turmeric, and uh, the, the ingredients cut off. That's exciting. You're gonna hear this person say turmeric as turmeric for the duration of this video. He did not realize that that is not the right word. The real way to say this is turmeric, not turmeric. Back to the video. So um, I used about 20 to 24 ounces of the juice which I, I froze the stuff I didn't use because I was like, maybe I'll use this to back sweeten. I didn't. Uh, half a pound of wildflower honey. And then I put in Kvike Voss. I also added a, about an eighth of a teaspoon of Fermade O. I don't know what the yan content of this juice was. And so I added a little bit to, a little bit of nutrient to help. Started the gravity, the gravity at 1.082. Too many numbers. Um, and then let it go. It took about two weeks to finish fermenting. When it had finished fermenting, I went ahead and um, because I put it in this mason jar, it was, I, I racked it via pouring the first time, which was not too wise, but racked it, cold crashed it to try and help bring out more solids and things out, pulled it out again, racked it again, and um, then I decided, okay, now I want to go ahead and back sweeten it because it had lost a lot of its sweetness, needed that to go back. Also wondered if I wanted to use the rest of the juice, but I decided not to really. Um, and then let's stabilize it with potassium sorbate and metabisulfite. Uh, at that point, gravity changes have been 1.082 to 1.000. Back sweetened with, uh, I just now, a few minutes ago, back sweetened with roughly about 2.75, almost three ounces of orange blossom honey. Took a new gravity reading. Gravity reading is now at 1.030, so pretty high. It is specs, or excuse me, it is stabilized, so it should not have any problems. Let's see what this tastes like though. This uh, giant test, I mean, honestly, I have no idea if this is gonna be good or repeatable or worth repeating, but I'll let you know. I haven't done a lot with turmeric before. The carrot is very subtle. This said on here, the juice from over three pounds of carrots with hints of ginger and turmeric in every bottle. It's the description of it. And uh, the, the carrot is not a, like it's a aftertaste. You get a little bit of like a, a carroty flavor, earthy flavor, but it's not bright carroty in your face. Um, turmeric, I'm not super familiar with. I haven't done a lot with it, but I do get like a interesting spice that's not hot and the ginger is definitely there. It's honestly not bad. I'm a little bit surprised. I don't think I gave some to my wife after it finished fermenting. 
tasted it after that primary state. And it was, uh, I'll be honest, without any sugar content, it was pretty rough. Okay, we're out of the primary. This is now at 1.004. I believe this is done fermenting, but it does look pretty cloudy. It could finish through those last four points of gravity. What does it taste like currently? Ooh, it's very interesting. I don't have a lot of experience with this mixture. You definitely still get a lot of the carrot ginger. I don't know if I've done a lot with turmeric. Ooh, it's retained a lot of it's like, I mean the vegetable side you get from a carrot. It's really not bad. That little tinge of sweetness, that four points right now, is kind of nice. We'll see if that goes away. This is what it looks like currently. And I have a feeling, actually, I don't know. This thing might not clear up at all. Let's find out. It's a little bit gross. So that honey coming back in has really taken and, and kind of fixed it in a lot of ways. Um, it's not bad, actually. You know what's so interesting about this? The body. It is, um, so it's not jammy in that you get like a, uh, no water boysenberry brew that is just like literally like eating jam, but it's not watery. It's like this kind of leaning to the side of jammy, but it's still somewhere in the middle. I like the body because it, it has a lot of tannic value. There is like some acidity that's apparent. And I think that's acidity slash brightness that is coming from maybe the ginger or something. Uh, we're not that old about a month and a half old at this point so um, I have a feeling that this will get better with age and uh, I'm partially doing a tasting early because in the future it might be fun to do a tasting but also I just wanted to do this as a test here's the truth of the situation you know I started this video off by saying have you ever gone through the grocery store seen something that you think can I make that into a mead and done it if you haven't done that I'm gonna make a bold statement. So feel free to angrily type at me in the comments. If you haven't had that thought, you might not truly like making mead. And what I mean by that is, when you get the bug, the mead making bug, you can go crazy with it. Like literally to the point where like you walk through and you're constantly looking for things. You're like, oh, what are the, what are the blackberries like today? You know, oh, look at those pineapples like your brain is just like going down and it might just be let's be real it might just be my kind of crazy brain that thinks that way and i might just be labeling you in a way that uh and try to make you crazy as well and if that's true i'm or excuse me if if that is not you and you don't think that way that's that should be fine i should not be roasting anybody but i do think there's an obsessiveness that comes with mead making where you walk through that supermarket and you find something crazy and want to do something with it. This juice was maybe four bucks, maybe five bucks at max. Now that's a lot for a 32 ounce, but here's what I've done. I have learned what the heck does carrot taste like after fermentation in some ways. What is turmeric like in a brew? What is ginger like? What's hap what happens when you combine all three of them? And that $4 plus maybe a pound of honey and a little bit of yeast has given me more insight into mead making than me going and spending $200 to make a crazy brew. Not only is this cheaper, but I've also learned a lot. So, rooting back to the beginning, go to your local supermarket and find something that you think could be interesting. Don't worry about making a whole gallon of it. Make a small batch, 32 ounces. Hey, that's great. This isn't even 32 ounces. I think this is like 24 ounces. We made about 24 ounces of, of mead, but I have learned a lot. I hope that you've enjoyed this. I had a lot of fun with it. Um, I might do some more micro brew stuff in the future. Uh, essentially, what you just need to do is go and make more mead. My final steps with this, because it's only 24 ounces, I might just throw it into a wine bottle and just let it sit for a long time. Um, I do think it'll clear up eventually. You know, I could probably cold crash since I did back sweeten. It did kind of create the haziness again, but I don't really know that I'll bottle this. Of course, if you make more of it, you might need to bottle it and that stuff. 
Anyways, this was easy. And I encourage you, get the bug and go and make more mead. It'll be fun. If you haven't found that bug yet, uh, maybe you just need to go and be a little experimental and see what happens. Wait, Wait a minute. minute. That's a song, right? Um, my posting schedule is absolutely crazy. I finished that video tasting you just saw six months ago, maybe even longer. Um, and because I'm so far ahead in my scheduling, uh, I haven't even posted that video. We're at the nine month mark of this brew. I thought I was gonna post it earlier, obviously did not. So let's go ahead and taste it now that we have nine months of age on this thing. I'm curious to see how it's changed. I will say it's cleared up a little bit, not a lot, still got some haze to it. I probably could have waited for like the year mark, but I feel like it's more important for this video to have like a long-term tasting, which nine months isn't super long-term, but it's something. Here we go. Look at that thing right there. Looks pretty good. Ooh, yeah. Uh, this is gonna be short tasting. Um, this is just a update to tell you if it's still as good. There's a lot of that ginger uh, and a lot of turmeric. Definitely some earthiness from the carrots. Woo, <laughs> kind of burns my nose. Here we go. Oh, that is super weird. Earthy carrot, bright, punchy, turmeric, ginger. It's honestly really good. It is super weird. I, I actually like it a lot though. <laughs> I didn't think I would like it because um, it is super weird, but it's like, it's got this funky, nice, conglomeration, co <laughs> collaboration between all three of those things. Heck, I'm ha I might have to make more of this. This is actually pretty good. And I think that there's a lot of people out there who would like it. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I don't always get to do like a nine month tasting in the video, but it just worked out this way. My posting schedule, like I said, super weird. I currently have a bunch of videos in the bank. So if you watch a video, there's a good chance that a, it was finished months ago and it's just, how I work. So thank you for watching and I hope you will go buy some obscure juice or find something in your local grocery store to try and make some fun mead. I'll see you next time. Cheers.